Hello everyone, welcome back to another Photoshop 2023 tutorial. I'm going to show you how to make somebody a little taller and somebody else, if they're in a picture together, a little bit shorter. In this case, I've got this nice married couple, looks like a great picture. He's a fair bit taller than her, but not too much. But that's not the original shot. Here's the original shot. They're very similar in height, and then I just basically added it so that he's like a couple inches taller. And it's very, very subtle, so let me show you how to do it. I'm going to delete this top layer, we'll start from scratch. Okay, good stuff. Here we go, we've got our layer here. The next step is I'm gonna create another layer. So I'm just gonna duplicate it so I can show you the difference when we're done. Okay, so working on the top layer, go to edit, go to transform, go to warp. When you do that, you're gonna get some grid like this. What you wanna do is you wanna to go to your grid option here. So click on the grid, go from default to custom. And under custom, make sure you got one column and one row, just type it in and then hit okay. So we've got a very, very basic, simple grid now beside the word split up here at the top you'll see three buttons the middle button is splitting vertically so split the warp vertically that's the one we want click on that nothing happens at the beginning but once you move your cursor so to speak over the picture you'll see here that you get this line and this is a vertical split so i'm just going to center it in the middle of this gentleman here and then presto there we go and not only that if we zoom in, you'll see here that we've got little little nodules or little buttons, so to speak, that we can actually distort with. So the, stick, the next trick here is you want to click the top one. Well, let's click the middle one here. And I'm just going to move this one up a little bit. Okay, something like that. Okay, so we've started warping him a little bit. We're going to move this one up a little bit. And then we're going to move this one up a little bit as well. Okay, something like that. We don't want to make it too much. And then hit enter. And then if we look at this so far, regular, a little bit taller. But we can also go a little further, and we can actually reduce her height, in, for example. This is an optional step, but I'll show you how to do it anyways. Okay, so we just go back to Edit, go up to Transform. Oops, there it is. And then go to Warp again. And now we're still on the one-by-one one grid. Grab the split vertical right here. And then we're just going to drop that down the center of her somewhere around there. Okay, good enough. Now, what we want to do is we want to grab this one, and then we're just going to move it down a little bit. Very subtle, and we'll move this one down a little bit. Nope, that went a bit too far, sorry. This is a very subtle thing. We just want a relative height difference between the two of them. And we'll move this point down a little bit as well, so that she's still proportional and doesn't look photoshopped. Hit enter, and then presto. We've got this gap between her and the gentleman. In the original shot, they're closer together. In this shot... Yeah, he's a bit taller. That's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. 